AI researchers just published an article in which they revealed that Amazon secured a patent back in 2016 for a contraption that is basically a cage for a human worker. They patented a cage where a worker climbs in and sits down on top of a sort of robotic trolley, which they would then ride around Amazon warehouses to protect them from other robots. Robots will be able to do everything better than us. I'm, inclu I'm including, I mean, all of us, you know. It's like the, it's the, like, it re this is really like the scariest problem to me, I tell you. Welcome back. Well, how about a technology takeover? Restaurants are turning to robots in places they can't use human employees. Lauren Simonetti with more on this. Lauren. Good morning, Raya. So you've met Flippy, right? The $30,000 robot used by burger joints like White Castle to fry and flip. Flippy doesn't get sick, and he's germ-free. Let me show you BreadBot. BreadBot makes and dispenses fresh baked bread in minutes. No transit time, no sit-in packaging. And here is Sally. Sally's a $35,000 machine being used by universities, hospitals, and grocery stores to make fresh salad and resurrect the livelihoods of some of the employees. The Brookings Institution finds 36 million jobs are at a high risk of automation in the United States, with the highest concentration being in the accommodation and food services industries, where 73% of all jobs could be lost to robots. The institution also finds automation happens in bursts, specifically after an economic shock, when humans become both more expensive and also harder to come by. But remember, while Domino's customers in Houston might open their door to a pizza delivery, not from a human, but from a self-driving robot. That's because the Domino's uh, out there in Houston teaming up with autonomous delivery company Neuro, uh, the first to get an exemption from the U.S. Department of Transportation to test out its delivery bot on public roads. The company has also raised over $1 billion from the likes of SoftBank and even Chipotle in its latest $500 million round back uh, in November, and join us now to chat more on that as Nero's co-founder. Across the country, are seeing a major spike in violent crime now. A scary scene earlier this week in New York City. So, to shoot out in the middle of the street during broad daylight, thankfully, no one blessedly was hurt. While cities are pushing to defund the police nationwide. You know, if you have a property that's more than just the front yard and the backyard, and if you want to know what's happening, you heard a noise in the middle of the night, you want to be able to observe it, you will likely need to install a bunch of cameras, in some cases a dozen cameras. That is not only expensive, but those cameras are violating your privacy constantly. Our system is an on-demand observation system. The drone flies out only when you need it to, and it looks wherever it needs to. It's much easier to install. It gives you comprehensive coverage of up to four acres of land. And if a drone flies out and there's somebody on your property that shouldn't be there, Trust me, they're not going to stay for very long. So our system consists of three components. One is our sensors that we call sunflowers. They can detect and analyze motion and vibration all over your property to be able to determine if there are people, animals, and cars coming or going. If they determine that something is unusual, they can deploy the drone, which we call the bee. It's a fully autonomous system, navigates around your property, maps any obstacles, and finds the perfect place for you to be able to observe the event that's happening on your property. We can follow the event around, we can do a perimeter sweep, and when we're done, we come in and we land on our base station that we call the hive. The How do you decide what goes in it? Well, I guess we were fortunate six years ago to develop an index that tracks the growth in robotics and AI because we saw these technologies changing the way we live and work. Okay, we are on the cusp of ubiquitous automation, and we have an undeniable inflection point because of performance capabilities of computing and the cost curve declining such that these now are technologies that used to be science fiction now have actual use applications. So, uh, Fast forward, you know, six years later, and we are at a launching, you know, pad in terms of the economic activity that we're seeing and the innovations, and it's being spread out to all parts of the economy, right? Every sector of the economy is going to benefit from robotics and AI. And we put up, they're going to make money in the long term. This group of companies you've assembled is still not clear to me. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, investors are future focused. You know, by definition, they want to grow their portfolios and they're looking for where is that growth going to come in the future. Robotics and AI, we think, is one of the most powerful growth engines that we see in the market today. But there's other themes as well, the growth of fintech and what we're seeing in mobile payments, the growth of the IoT, the Internet of Things, and 5G are also very powerful themes. So we've been very focused on growing our thematic suite. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher.
And guys, you know, I come back with that video just to make you think. And like I told you, the second video will be about the rise of the actual machine. We know all about Amazon's patents, the actual wristband that buzzes you back to work. And we always have Elon Musk making statements because he's helped building the fourth industrial revolution, the rise of the actual robots, algorithms, and drones. We are now seeing the advertisement in our commercials, Domino's autonomous delivery driver. So we also know about the actual drones. And what's special about the drones, guys, is that we have all the crime that's rising. Remember, they want to do away with police. If you have a camera watching you 24-7, people are definitely going to think twice. With all these social media accounts, they have your phone number, so that means a lot of times they have your address. So with these drones, not only will you get busted for the crime, but then therefore they'll pick you up in seconds. And we have all these people out of work talking about low-paying jobs. And that gives a new road order what? Problem, reaction, solution. You don't want to work this low-paying job? That's okay. We're going to bring in the robot and give you this free money. But not understanding that money is programmable. All your privacy is out the window. They're going to control what you buy and how you buy it. And I put this stock video at the end. Because, guys, they already invest years ahead of time. The New World Order already knows what's coming. This video was back in 2019. You can see the price of the actual stocks ETFs. But, guys, they already knew what was going to happen a long time ago. They already knew what the fourth industrial revolution was about. That's the reason why I tell you to watch my Society 5.0 videos, because they already knew it was coming. Because we know when it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. And that's the reason why we have to get our children educated. Do not forget to get the three kids books. Y'all have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see the fourth industrial revolution, foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yashua and Tam. Save the village. Part 2. King Yashua and Gromatim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yashua and Grandma Tam goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z. We're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, 
And then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money.